Okay, we don't get a choice, so let's choose yes. Okay. I have no idea. Too many blanks. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out what about the possible preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion, so I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Okay. What about Raven? Raven is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an entire pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is dragging Raven around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't do anything. Okay, then why not let Raven decide who he wants to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Raven make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Raven, I know you were fed up with these two by now. Can we just... That's who he shot your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shot your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice. It wants me to choose Monica. But I'm gonna choose... It won't let me! No, it's moving my mouse for me. Okay, it's fun. Okay, look, I'm trying to... Okay. I'm gonna try to pick your right. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game is so weird. Why is it making me go with Monica? Monica's kind of been the least weirdest one. This is really horrifying. Um, well, we have a couple choices here. Oh, you picked me! Yay! We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Raven for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Raven away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you... Take it out on others. Here, here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, just go. I don't think she wants to be us around us right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Raven. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is all I've ever wanted. Raven, there's no time. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. With just two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Haha. <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more like something... Oh. Oops, what happened? Uh, maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But 
the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Raven. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Raven. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Ooh. Um, I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Raven. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh boy. Well, if someone told me they want to crawl inside my skin? Jesus. I think yes is the option most people would choose. Uh, oh man, when are we gonna choose? I'm gonna. Okay. Let's go with yes just to see where this goes. Ha 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 Can't read that. <laughs> God. Well, I guess it's good we didn't say no. I'm guessing we're not supposed to be able to read this. But it's very weird. Okay, come on. This is unsettling. Wow. <laughs> One of these times it'll stop, I think. Right? Oh my god. Well, we could skip it, but I'll just keep clicking. Because there is a skip button. My god, are we gonna have to skip it? I'm a pretty determined person. Okay. What the hell? This is so weird. This is one of the weirdest games I've ever played. Is this the end? Oh. It keeps striking me. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? Uh, yeah. Ah! Oop, he just puked. <laughs> that's, that's who he runs away. I'm here. Raven, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Ahaha. Ha, ha. Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Raven? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. This is so weird. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Trey and takes a cupcake. 
Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making the, you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Um, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh, hey. There you are. Hi again, Raven. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other. Because we were in the same class last year. And, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Raven. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you'd paid a little more attention. This would have been less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. Nah. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me just to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But, no matter what I did, you just kept spending more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsession personally backfired too. I just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Raven? And all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watched them from the sidelines. It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Raven. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you've been, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Raven. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Raven. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird in and up ability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective I do, that it's just some game, and I know you would get over it. So that being said, Raven, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Raven, will you go out with me? Uh, well, we don't get a choice, so sure. I'm so happy. 
You really are my everything, Raven. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Haha. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously. I don't even think the time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Raven. The game wouldn't give it to me, so I had to make it myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to, to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters, right? The game directory? It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things if they didn't go my way. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, jeez. No, it doesn't work much. Everything is Monica. Hi again, Raven. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Raven. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But, you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy End. Put in pen, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me, my one and only love. Together let us dismantle the crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flicker of a pen, the lost finds her way in a world with infinite choices. Behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game, like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me, maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend eternity together, Raven? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? <laughs> so weird. Um, hi everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friends? It's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning. I'm sure people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. Oh god. Did I scare you? Oh, you're so cute. Anyway, Raven. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me? Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway. If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Mm, I don't want to. So creepy. God.
man, this game is super eerie. Like, it took a long time to get to this point. I wish it could have got here a little quicker. It's my only complaint. I know there are times you won't always be able to hear be here with me. Like if you need to go out or take care of other things. But I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come to think of it, if you copy my character file onto a flash drive or something, you can always keep me a part of you. I guess it's kind of unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. Alright, this is for the record. I'm looking at the file right now, and there is a characters folder, and the only character in there right now is Monica. I'm like tempted to just delete it and see if it would affect the game, but I don't want to screw up the gameplay. Ah, uh -huh, sorry, that's such a silly idea. I don't mean to be mean or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. Okay. Creepy. Sometimes I think back to middle school. I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then. It almost hurt to think about it. I wonder if when I'm in college, I'll feel that way about high school. I like the way I am now, so it's pretty hard for me to imagine that happening. But I also know that I'll probably change a lot as time goes on. We just need to enjoy the present and not think about the past. And that's really easy to do with you here. Good God. I've never had a game make me feel, like, so uncomfortable. Like, there are jump scares and there are creepy games. But this just makes me feel unnerved. Okay, everyone. It's time to. I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? Oh my god. Now I'm wondering, hey, are you having a bad day or anything like that? Sometimes I get frustrated that a normal day can be ruined even by really small things, like if you accidentally say something in a conversation that doesn't, someone doesn't like, or if you start thinking about how awful a person you used to be five years ago, or if you feel worthless for putting off important work and failing to get the simplest of tasks done, or when you think about all the different people who probably hate you or think you're off-putting. I understand those days. Just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. Those kind of things are easy to forget and ignore because they are to remember. And besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. I think you're wonderful and I will always love you. I hope if nothing else that knowing that helps you feel just a tiny bit better about yourself. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me. I'll talk to you for as long as you need. Oh, Jesus. This is pretty random, but I always thought spicy food was kind of funny. Like, didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy things. It's almost like we're making fun of the plants, using their defense mechanism to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like, imagine a monster that devours you whole because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while being digested. Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. It just came into my head. 
I'm not a monster or anything. But you're so cute I could eat you up. Haha, <laughs> I'm joking. Gosh, I'm amusing myself a little more. A little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Okay. I seriously want to know what would happen if I delete the file, but I don't want to screw the game up. Hey, I wonder if Yuri's tea set is still somewhere in here. Or maybe that got deleted too. It's kind of funny how Yuri took her tea set so seriously. I mean, I'm not complicate I'm not complaining, because I liked it too, but I always wondered with her. Is it truly a passion for her hobbies? Or is she just concentrated about appearing sophisticated to everyone else? This is the problem with high schoolers. Well, I guess considering the rest of her hobbies looking sophisticated probably isn't her biggest concern, but still. I wish she made coffee once in a while. Coffee can be nice with books too, you know. Then again, I probably could have just changed the script myself. I guess I never really thought of that. Well, there's no sense in thinking about it now. But if you still get to drink coffee, then that makes me a little jealous. Not what I was expecting. Oh gosh, okay. Raven, do you believe in God? I was never too sure of myself. Well, I'm sure I never really questioned it as a kid. But as I grew up, the more I learned about the world, the more I would question it. I started to wonder why God is helping people pass exams or get over a cold. When there are children who live their lives being sold as sex slaves, or the 800 million people who are poor, who are too poor to eat. I wonder how many of those people pray to God every day until they starve or die. Or how many millions of families pray for a loved one to recover from some incurable disease. But the punchline is this. If just one person beats the odds and survives, amongst the thousands of others who die, then it's suddenly a miracle from God. I'd really love to meet this God who seemingly laughs at the misery of everyone not eligible for his miracles. But the irony is that I do have a creator, apparently. And you know what? I bet he's still laughing at the miserable fates of Sayori and Yuri, even as we speak. What are we to him but props in a scripted play? So from that perspective, I don't think it's too far-fetched for there to be a god if Earth was nothing but this place at. You know, high school is a really turbulent time for a lot of people's lives. People can get really passionate and dramatic, and others have aching hearts and seek attention on social media. But all the social media pressures and you know, hormones can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. You may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just, if you think you know someone struggling with depression, you can help by just treating them like they're a good friend. Spend time with them, even if they don't feel like doing much, and remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans at events, letting them borrow something, or even just saying, see you at school tomorrow. All those things can help your friend make it to the next day. I hope being friends with Sayori has given you some perspective on the cruel face of depression. Yeah, she's gone now. But Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real. And just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? Because you, too, 
and people would who would want to save your life. Maybe they don't express that every day. Maybe they don't even know how to. But people too feel that way. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Oh my god. You know, it's been a while since we've done one of these things, so let's go for it. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when I talk to people who are impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. It's really depressing, you know? As someone who loves more than anything else to share the joy of exploring your passions, it pains me when people think that being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you feel really proud of it, and you even want to share it with everyone. But maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it. That happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening to put much time and effort into something and then realize that you suck. But that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals professionals. Uh, when you reach for the stars, they're always going to be out of your reach, you know? The truth is, you have to climb up there step by step, and whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten, and then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. So, sometimes it can help to set the bar a little lower, to try to find something you think is pretty good, but not world class, and you can make your own personal goal. It's also really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still an amateur, you'll never get it done. So if we're talking about writing, a novel might be a bit too much at first, why not try something like short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing that you want to do right. That goes for small projects in general. You can really focus on the one or two things. It's such a good learning experience and a stepping stone. Oh, one more thing. Writing isn't much... Writing isn't something where you just reach into your heart and something beautiful comes out. Just like drawing and painting, it's a skill in itself to learn how to express what you have inside. That means there are methods and guides and basics to it. Reading up on that stuff can be super eye-opening. That sort of planning and organization will never really... will, will help prevent you from getting overwhelmed and giving up. And before you know it, you start sucking less and less. Nothing comes naturally. Our society, our art, everything. It's built on thousands of years of human innovation. So as long as you start on that foundation and take it step by step, you too can do amazing things. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right. I'm getting real, real close to just deleting your character and seeing what happens. Hey, what's your favorite color? My is emerald green. It's the color of my eyes. That's not conceited or anything, is it? I just meant that I feel some kind of special connection to it. Like it's part of my identity. Does that happen to also be your favorite color, Raven? It's just a guess. Because you've been looking into my eyes for a while now. Okay. I wonder if it wants us. I'm really getting close. Hold on. Alright. So... I'm waiting. So, I want you guys to see this. Alright, so, 
you see those, right? Monica, that character. I wonder what happens if we delete it. Can we delete it? Let's let's just move it. Let's just move it to a different folder. Okay, so the character's not there anymore. I don't know what that's gonna do. Hey, what's your favorite game? Okay. What's happening? Raven, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Raven. So weird. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Raven? Did you? Did you delete me? <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? You are all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Raven. I trusted you. Did you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Raven? You can... <laughs> you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Oh, jeez. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends? I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Raven? I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do that. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Is that it? No, it's gonna lie to you. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Okay. So it's over. For now. Um. I'm sure there are a lot of different ways we could go with this, depending on the choices we made. Um, I don't know what would have happened if I would have never deleted, actually physically deleted her character from the folder. I don't know what would happen if I restored the other characters, like copied them and pasted them later. It's really weird because whoever wrote this game, or the multiple people that might have written this game, were so clever about this that they actually, if you went in and changed something, I think on your hard drive it would have changed the game, which is so bizarre to me. Like, really weird. So, um... Overall, this was a really interesting thing to play. It was long. Too long. It became a little tedious. 
but I mean, if you broke it up into playing little bits of it each day, it wouldn't have been long. It's just that I sat down and I intended to play this in one sitting, and I was very wrong. I think I had, um, played about three hours the first day, and then the next day I paid, played about two and a half. So anyway, that's Boki Boki, Doki Doki, whatever, Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, this is going to be broken up, and it is broken up if you're watching this. This is the last part, and it was broken up into a lot of pieces. Because, I mean, this is like six hours of gameplay. So I hope somebody gets something out of it. I hope somebody watches it. I hope somebody enjoys it. Um, thanks again for supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. And that's all I got for now. Peace.